Hello everyone, welcome back to the Darkest Dungeon. In the last episode, which was a few days ago for me, um, we took the usual suspects off to do a medium level 3 run, uh, which was successful, I believe. Most people are currently fine in terms of stress, except for Jekri, who has been put in the bar, and D is okay, I think, so I think we'll keep keep her out of, out of trouble at the moment. Ed is in... For treatment to get rid of the diseases I believe we picked up very recently which is a that's a pretty bad one this also tells us that we cured Dutch of rabies he will be happy to hear that and bagel has had the black plague removed which he picked up on his last excursion as well and Pete is finally no longer a kleptomaniac although I'm tempted to send Pete back in again or maybe we already did who else is in here I saw there were two people in here Faye Vague is in for rabies as well. So all of our uh, bounty hunters appear to be collecting rabies like Pokemons. Okay, well, in that case, we might as well try and collect some more of these. I would like to get the final stage of barracks so we can fill up our roster to the absolute max. Match? Max. I don't really feel like we need to bring in more heroes per week. Although, once this is full, we can start thinking about maybe getting rid of people that we don't really want. Especially if we're not going to name them. Which we're starting to get to the stage where we don't have any more names. Uh, oh, I suppose people might die as well, but I'm hoping not to. Um, we need to get the, the guild and the blacksmith up to level 2 of everything here as well. Which we can't do because we have basically no portraits. Although, if we do keep adventuring, we're quite likely to get a lot of crests, and a lot of crests will mean we can transfer them, you know, we can uh, trade, that's the word, trade them for other stuff. We could upgrade the furnace, which will make it cheaper, but then we won't be able to get the rank 3s, and we really need to get the rank 3s of both this and the guild, because we have level 3 people. Ah, that's level 4 actually, so I think we're okay here. Let's, uh, let's maybe do a, a run where we go for cash again i.e. we take Ellie. Let's see what the options are before we commit to anything at all. Uh, we have level 3, level 3, level 1. Oh, there's two level 1s. This is abomination only. We don't have many abomination only, if any. Uh, well, why don't we put an abomination in and see what happens. No, we don't. So that might be worthwhile. What does it do? 30% stun skill, and so those are two things we do actually use quite a lot when we bring Viz on a mission, but we're not going to on this one. But I think a medium mission with the Antiquarian is just going to fill up our inventory faster than we can cope with. We want to be able to get out of there basically as quickly as possible after we get as much as possible from the thing, so we're going to try and do a short mission. This one seems valuable. Um, we'll put Ellie at the back as usual. Although maybe we should unlock the one where we can actually stab. I mean, this is no use. Tell you what. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll come back out here. And we'll go to the blacksmith and the guild, I think. We'll put Tim. We'll put Mugstus, who's already been done. Mari has been done. Martinus has not been done. I think we should probably experiment with the uh, the party compositions that can include the antiquarian because we want to know what does and doesn't work basically so Tim uh, we've just done that if you don't mind this one there we go so we did like that was actually quite useful in places where blight and bleed happen which is most places so I'm actually gonna keep this loadout for Tim as well just upgrade what we have been using I think Megistos' set of things worked really well with a good damage dealer like Tim, but having Tim also able to heal himself of Blight and Bleed, it it allowed our actual healer to, to have a go. So, really, we need to decide whether we're going to take a healer on the next mission with the Antiquarian, which basically leaves us with Bagel. So, at some point, we might have to get rid of somebody just to take a healer at the right level, or try and level these people up, running the risk that they die because we don't have a proper healer. 
Um, let's get Murray in and date all the stuff we were using there. I mean, I quite like all of the Plague Doctor's set of things. I don't really find that any of them work better together than any other set. It's not like uh, a Man at Arms, for example, or even uh, a Bounty Hunter, where your, your skills work with each other from round to round. Nor does the Plague Doctor really work with other characters extremely well. I think mostly because they don't take ad each skill doesn't take advantage of a different skill, right? So apart from things that have debuffs like um, like the occultist, where you can you know reduce their dodge, for example, we don't have much that would directly benefit a play doctor's skills. Apart from Anything that will give them more of a chance to do the things is not quite the same as having an advantage versus humans and advantage versus marked, for example. So let's get Martinez's skills. I think that Martinez's set of skills was actually really useful in the last one, and I'm tempted to take him with us in the next one, so we'll probably do that. So let's have a look. We put Marty in the second, the third position, which is where we wanted, for a lunge and then the step back. I think you work anywhere, really, don't you? I mean... Yeah. I feel like I would like to have uh, a healer in one of these positions, but apart from the fact that Bagel is the only... Well, Bagel and Pete are the only two occultists we have even close to their level. They're going to level away from the rest of the troop. So maybe we should take Mr. Steve, who does have... He can have a heal, I suppose I'm saying. Uh, or just someone like Megistos who can mark himself. Is there a mark yourself? Yeah, this one with the repost. So we could just do a shitload of damage is what I'm getting at. I could do that and then that. Uh, no. Fingers. This seems doable. I don't really want the damage stone though. What else have we got? Short Apprentice. Crusader. Minus 10% heal. That's pretty good because we don't really use the heal skills on a Crusader. And it, for once it's a trinket that doesn't actually get rid of speed in favour of everything else. We've already got one of those. As a veteran, we don't want to do that. Ooh, that's available now. It's not available, is it? I think that is available. Kill one shuffling horror. So that's level six. We're not going there. Absolutely not know how, not no way, no siree. We could do this. It is 100% of room battles, but it's in the cove. Maybe not. We don't have anything that can really do blight except for Martinus, who has the poison darts. There's a lot of damage resistance. There's a lot of protection in there. So I think we're going to go with this one. Even though the damage stone we get out of it is not the best thing, we can just sell it. And since this is going to be a run for your money, two for the show, we are going to take not too much stuff. Where are we going? The wield. Um... I say not too much stuff. I think we spent about two grand there, so that's actually a pretty decent amount of money compared to how much we could spend. You can heal yourself of blights, but that's basically it. So we should probably take a couple of anti-venoms. I think this is what I'm going to take. As long as we've got shovels, we should be okay. And I'm just going to have to hope that this was a good idea. Um, I'm mostly worried about the fact that the wield has a lot of attacks that can do damage over time. It's got blights and it's got... Every, everywhere's got bleeds, but it's the blights I'm really worried about. Um, because we don't have anything that can actually heal it, but it's very few squares. That's... It's not just short. It's hella short. So we should be okay to just charge through here and beat everything up. But I've taken all these um, extra things because... Uh, excuse me? Oh, is that anti-venom? Yes. Uh, Wealth beyond measure. I've taken all these extra things because I have had some delightful feedback that I um, maybe are um, too reluctant to use curios. So I like to be able to actually use them. So we'll start with the lunge here, as usual. Yeah. To hit 90%. Should we just try and kill one? I think that's probably a good idea. That's two stages forward. I didn't realise that. Maybe you were in the wrong place then. That was a mistake on my part. I think we just want plus three dodge. This does do everybody, by the way. We do have a heal on Ellie. But her heal... is only one. I didn't bring any trinkets. 
Again, I made that mistake. Every time it's the first uh, episode that I record in a day, I basically forget everything that I'm supposed to do. So we want to try and get rid of these as fast as possible. Maybe I should have got Martinez to do that. Hmm. Let us use Retribution. Does some damage, that's fine. But we mark ourselves and we activate Repost. Hopefully if anything actually attacks. Oh, we can't stun that one. Fine. Then it will hit, hit uh, Meg here and Megistos will uh, uh, Repost. Get down, I don't care about that. I think if we're going to keep the Antiquarian around, which I think we are, because it's the whole point of taking her on this mission, um, we're going to want to unlock... Oh, you can't reach that. Mm, we're going to want to unlock the skills that allow the Antiquarian to actually do useful stuff. I think that one, that get down, which only buffs yourself, is not that useful. Compared to all others, let us... Probably should have done this right the first time, but apparently I didn't. Let's just do this. Full party buffs, I think, are a worthwhile... It's not like a waste of a turn, but it's a good way of using a good turn. If you can't do anything else. In fact, sometimes it may even be better than uh, an actual attack outright. Another one. Well, you had a buff, but it's gone away, so... Screw you, I guess. This is the one I want to get rid of. We can replace that with a stab. We may have to be able to do some damage with the Antiquarian. 12 damage. Well, that went very well. I do feel a bit silly for not having brought trinkets, but at the same time... Oh, I kind of don't. Right, we'll start in this position because lunge goes to here. Glad I brought shovels, aren't I always? Humpty dum. Hey, very, um... Very lucid about his descriptions of all the things that happen. So lunge will kill... Very, It's quite likely to kill this. It's likely enough to kill this. I'm going to try. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted to see. 13 roll on a 13. 7 to 14. We have to roll high, but we still could do it. Thank you. You people uh, have made me happy in the pants. You, excellent. So you're going to Shadow Fade next. You can't do this at the moment, but you will be able to. Uh, do we want to guard? Oh, let's just do this. More accuracy, more crit. See if we can keep that up. These last for a certain number of rounds. So if our combats are actually close enough together, these will not actually go away until the next combat, which is really nice. Small amount of uh, damage there. I think we should try a heal. Ah, it's not a group heal, which is a shame. We can eat a bit of food as well when, when the time comes. Flashing daggers. Don't really care about the bleed resist, but I would like to stun one. 25% stun resist is not insignificant, but it didn't help them, I guess, so whatever. You've got 5 to 9 damage. That debuffs us, so I basically want to just hit this a lot. It's going to take a few hits because it has high protection. We didn't bring anything that can remove that protection. Crush. Four to eight. It's not going to kill it without a crit. So it will get a go. As long as we keep spreading the damage around and maybe not critting so much if you can possibly help it. We should be okay. You can heal yourself. Don't forget that. So flashing daggers will hit those two, which is not ideal. Poison darts can hit anything. I think we hit this, it gives us a good chance to get it down into, oh, it resisted the blight because we're in the wield where there's a lot of blight resist. I guess that's okay. I mean, we just top up the HP, I suppose. I'm hoping to get through all of this without really needing to heal because everything will be dead anyway. Just, just kidding. Not quite as confident as I was when I came into the thing, especially since, again, first episode of the day, get all your uh, all your meta. It's fine. We dodged that. We should probably uh, rebuild this this dodge here. I'm just going to keep throwing out the poison dot poison darts because although it has a very high blight, that's not high. It's about a third, but although there is a quantity of blight resist, 
I don't want to move us around anymore. I could shadow fade again, actually, go back to the back. That might help. Unless we can just kill this, which we might be able to. A crit. A crit is what we like to see. A faint hope blossoms. Doo -doo -doo. Hooray! And that's why I bring the antiquarian. Success so let's so have... Clearly in view. Let's just eat a couple of food each. We don't have a huge amount of um, HP in the first place. Like 23 or 24. Especially on, on this unit. Two food will heal it now. So, uh, What is this, by the way? Hmm. This may be the sort of thing that removes a quirk. A bad quirk. Or a disease. Have either of you got both? So that it doesn't matter. No. So we might as well try and remove maybe a, a quirk here. Reinvigorates the hero. Ah, it's a de-stressor. I think that was probably the best unit to de-stress. There's not a whole lot of stress that's hit us so far, but... Well, we need to complete rune battles, and there's an obstacle here. So, we won't go there, because there isn't a rune battle. Let's use a torch. Um, we don't really want to use another shovel if we can avoid it. We don't want that battle there. That curio can... Uh, suck it. So to speak. And we'll move on in this direction. A trap! Ambushed by foul invention. Probably could have stood to bring a couple more anti-venom. I know that this unit can heal themselves. But this is this. Um not out of combat, so I don't want to waste all the HP on getting there. Uh yeah, some stuff, that's fine. I know that doing battles, more battles, is going to be more valuable to us because we have the Antiquarian, so maybe we should have gone to the empty room anyway. Not going to sweat that too much. I'd like to get out of here still alive if possible. Right, we've got humans. Some blight resist, but not much. I have failed to move us in the correct order before we started, so we can't shadow fade from this position. But we can do this. 4 to 8 damage, which could kill that. Oh no, it won't. Three, four to eight and three to seven. But it does bleed resist, but not actual bleed. Uh, sorry, less bleed resist. We don't have a bleed attack. Not even on... Uh, not even on Tim there. So maybe we won't be using that. It is kind of a pest that the grave robber goes first because I'm a fool. So I'm just going to... Um... Yeah, let's get some dots going on this joker at the front here. There was a 20% resist, so at some point... Oh, no, it's 0%. Okay, cool. It now has 0%. So there was a chance that that failed, but we didn't hit that, so... Uh, fortify yourself. No, fortify Tim. Good. Right, you are going to guard... No, you're going to retribution against... This. Just try and do as much damage to this as possible. I know these things can hit hard, but... We've got Iron Swan for that. We could kill it. We did kill it. Thank you for constantly rolling high on your Iron Swan. Not only do you look badass whilst performing it, that's exactly what I wanted to see. The debuff is not brilliant, but at least we're not actually bleeding right now. You dodge that because that's a move that you're bad at. Not only do you look badass doing your Iron Swan, but it was also very effective. Now I think we might want to consider lunging. Because then on the next turn, we can stun the one that's left. This chap's not going to be able to do the hit, but that's okay. We can buff everybody. So I get it's not the end of the world that I failed to put the grave robber in the wrong position because Mega in the middle there is not actually a, a terrible idea. This is 135% stun chance as well, but we're probably going to stun it on the next turn anyway. So all we have to do is successfully dodge whatever this Joker does, which is going to be helped by the invinigorating vapors over here. Rain of Quips. Dodge. We all got one. You reposted, and you're, you and you are bleeding. That's fine. I mean, bleed is bleed. What is it? One. It's two more damage. We can probably tank two more damage. We don't have too many runes left. And at some any point during this, it could just say, you're done. Go home. So I'm, I'm happy to do exactly that, if that's what they tell us to do. If that's what they suggest. We'll uh, put this... Uh, it's not locked, but it could be trapped. Ah, in, in the cove that would work, obviously. I think we'll just open it. 
I'm expecting to find a locked chest. I know that would unlock a secret compartment and therefore give us more loot, but if we find a locked chest, we would lose all of that loot. Like this, for example. We'll unlock this because that can certainly be trapped. I have more belongings inside. Uh, it's okay. Don't forget we can stack a lot of gold up now. It must be carried home. It'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Surprise. Not surprise. I didn't move my party around. I see that's probably good. Now our grave robber might go first. Yes, and we can shadow fade. Oh, we can't hit that. Hmm. We can hit two of them, but all it really does is some damage. We could kill that. But reducing bleed resist doesn't really help when we're not bleeding anything anyway. Maybe flashing daggers I'll uh, despec. Replace it with something else in future. That seems like a good idea, so remind me when we get back. But that's the plan. Just do that. Maybe a bit of dodge will help us avoid any um, unnecessary stress. Can you crush this for completely... No. You could crit. It's a 10% crit, which is a really good crit chance. But you didn't, so shame on you. We'll stress out Ellie there. 15, that's not too bad. That's probably worth bringing on a, a medium mission so we can use camping skills to get rid of that stress there. Uh, the Yalp. I mean, we could just kill this. Not that. Certainly that. Can't reach that. Uh, Cure Blight Bleed. That's 2, two HP. It does buff us quite considerably, actually, so I will do that. It healed us for two, which it says it will do. It cured our bleed, which is another two, so that's essentially four. Why don't we just... Uh... We could get the guarantee kill on this, right? But that's massive overkill. But you might go next. So I'm... I'm tempted to kill this simply because it will quite likely go next, and I don't want it to do that. So we'll just give everyone a better dodge. We'll keep doing that. That's your entire role in this, uh, in these proceedings. We will protect. Well, we could protect an ally. We'll protect the grave robber. It seems like a good idea. We can't do any damage. If one of these wants to attack the grave robber, the Hellion can cope with it and apparently dodge anyway, which is nice. No worries. Cope okay with that. Lead is. Not the worst, but it's the stress we want to worry about because I think we can get a long way in in this. Uh, mission without actually worrying about our HP because when we leave town we heal up anyway it's only the stress that will be persistent so we'll stun you or at least try to it succeeded which is nice so we have that's perfect timing we have full opportunity to do everything we want to do so we might as well like heal the Hellion for one point then you lose the one point again but now we're back to where we were and we could just I'm going to use a turn to actually uh, remove their heal, remove the heal, remove the bleed, and perform a heal. Because although, you know, we don't get the opportunity to kill that thing on this turn, it hasn't had a turn. And we do get a go now. Although it's only a stun. We can't actually stab it, which is a shame. We'll try it anyway. It could go next. It does go next. Dodge. Good. That was a risk. I admit I gambled a lot on that. Um, but it was probably worth it for the extra HP and the not walking around. I know. 2 HP over the next rest of the corridor. Probably not worth the risk. But uh, I think it's a uh, low enough level dungeon that we can afford to experiment a little bit with strange and possibly... Uh, possibly less than optimal tactics. Just open it. Oh yeah, of course you fucking did. Oh, it's just Blight. We can't do anything about it, but it's only 6 damage. We would have Blight and Bleed right now, so... I guess that's okay. A boon at last. We've got plenty of cash out of this, 4,000 plus, and then some extra stuff, and then at the end of it, we will get the heirloom, no, the trinket that we don't want. Trinkets, saw point today. Yeah, I've done it again. It's fine. Can we kill that? No. Yes! Fair enough. Eldritch Pull is probably slightly better than a stress dealing attack. And you're in a better position now, so I'm happy with that. Everyone dodge a little bit. The Hellion's going to be in a bit of trouble. Can't really do much from back here. We could do that. I didn't want to move the Hellion. 
Uh, because we're going to move it anyway with Shadow Fade. So why, I guess. We kind of want to just kill these. If possible. I know it's not possible on this turn. The closer they are to death, the quicker it'll be to get rid of them. Probably should have reposted you, huh? Right, you're going to Shadow Fade and make the one that is less likely to die on this turn stunned. Stressful incantation is stressful. We definitely should have reposted with Megistos at the front there. That's okay. Like I, I, I'm assuming that these units have restrictions on their attacks, just like I do. And therefore, I should learn which one they normally hit. But we hit this. This unit can definitely hit the back, but it has been attacking this one a lot. Can we kill that? Certainly. Can we kill it with this? Yes. So that will activate Repost. That's exactly what we want to see. That one's going to be stunned and that will pop off. So when these guys have their next turn and hopefully target the marked one. I'll poison darts to you maybe. Can I do anything else to you? No. So I might as well just chuck this. I don't want to lunge again. Resisted everything. You absolute jebben. When these ones have their next turn, hopefully they will attack the marked unit. That's not the marked unit, but, you know, nice try, I guess. Just uh, hit it. And then we'll get the repost to proc. Or we just kill it anyway, so maybe that was less than ideal. We can't actually hit that unit with anything that we have except this, so we might as well just keep trying this. But I'm afraid this one's likely to have another go right now isn't. That's annoying, because if you were at the front, this has been quite useful, but I'm thinking of replacing it with the, the charge. Well, we'll do this. Hopefully we get another go. No, we do not. I mean, I don't mind you concentrating the stress on two units, and we did kill you as a result of it, so I'm happy with that too. Uh, okay. Well, no one's... Okay. It's not a trifling victory. Don't belittle my efforts. Bastard. Didn't really need as many medicinal oibs as we brought, but the wield is so full of shit. Stop talking. All right, you walked into a fucking trap. Ancient. Yeah, if you want to concentrate the uh, the stress on the same two characters, that makes it a lot easier for us to de-stress them later. To which end, we will get the antiquarian to look in this. It's a trap. Yeah, you're blighted. Well, I'm glad I picked up the anti-venom. Oh, wait. Never mind, there's only like one room left. That one doesn't have a battle in it, so this must be the... This is the end, my friend. My only friend, the end. Tim, no. Martinus, why are you in the wrong position again? Look, no, nothing this unit can do can hit the back, so we're just going to have to deal with this one. Not good enough. See me after class. Uh, Like, this is just pretty bad anyway, so... Why don't we just hit one? Hit the closest one. Most units can hit that. It would be helpful if you stop being blighted to quite such a considerable extent. But we'll be out of here soon enough anyway, so I guess we'll be okay in that regard. I want to do this. That's only got 4 HP left. Can we do any more damage? No. I'm just thinking it could have crit. Maybe. That was definitely worth doing, apparently. That Retribution seems underrated. Not that I've got anyone else's ratings of it to hang. I've not done a poll or anything, but... Good dodge, thank you. Um, it feels like something that seems bad until you do it, and then you're suddenly going, Oh my god, that's actually really awesome. I'm so glad I took it. So we'll do the same technique again here. We will stun the one that's not likely to die straight away. Ooh. Repost. Yo. Where's your repost action? You dick. This is a... Uh, <laughs> your heart will not burst. Stop complaining. I will allow you to heal yourself. That was a crit. And you got some stress relief, which is really nice, because... Yes. That is a very annoying character. And that one's already gone, so maybe we can kill that one now. Stop getting any more stress, and hopefully this is the end of it. Can we do this? Yes. So you're also dead. 
We get our marks back, we get our repost refreshed. You dodge, which is nice. And then you don't get to go. So, we will continue with our... Just stunning thing. Oh, okay. Basically just trying to keep things stunned. For as long as possible. To avoid all the damage that they can do. So you've got 25%, you've got 65% stun resist. You've got 135%. So, that's... 40 to 50% on you and not very much on you. So we should try and stun them both. We will do some, we will do no damage. Or we could just kill one of them. No, we can't. Because you've got a lot of. Yes, then we will try to stun both. We can't kill either of them for sure. That's exactly what we wanted. Uh, then we will. Oh, you created? That's really helpful. I appreciate that. And your stun comes off. And there's no more stress attacks. And then we might as well just throw some darts at you. Yeah, I know it has a high uh, blight resist, but we blighted it anyway. So I guess that's pretty cool. Now we just hack it. Just wail away on it until it's gone. I don't think that one can reach that one. But just in case, your, uh, your retribution's gone. 5% extra damage. That'll bring it down into... That'll bring it down to 11 or 10. Unless it crits. So you have to attack you. Go. This one? No, no, no. This one. Oh, you missed anyway. Fair enough. I mean, continue to miss by all means. I have no problem with that. If you can get another Blight on that. Thank you. So you're going to die when you go. In which case, I will heal myself. Just in case there's another battle and I wasn't aware of it. Uh, this one will guard this one. Whatever. I just want to be able to heal as much. It's not a lot. I appreciate that. One HP every so often is not great. Is the you know, <laughs> it's not the greatest in the world. Uh, we'll get rid of that. We want to take as many of these as possible because we can. Um, we can trade them. I can attempt it to go down here, but our inventory is full. And as noted, we want to leave ASAP after our inventory gets full. But of course, it's not full because, you know, we can use a torch. Let's do it. There may be some more treasure to find. We know there's not a battle at the end of it. There may be a battle on the way, but that's okay. We have no bandages left or anti-venom. That's anti-venom. We don't have any anti-venom, so I'm not going to do that. Although that does make me a cube. I know that. One more battle. That's fine. We'll lunge at you and maybe kill you. How did you not? It's very upsetting. And you're going to stress out completely. 100. Irrational. Well, Ellie. Reeling, gasping. Take him over the edge into madness. I mean, there's irrational. And then there's. I don't think irrational means what you think it means. I mean, that's not irrationality, that's just loopy. That's sort of losing the plot sort of thing going on there, rather than... Right, we want to, uh... Mm. This seems like an excellent idea, now that I've done it. If we kill that one, which is stressing everybody out, activate repost as well. This lasts for two rounds. On the next round... Well, this isn't helpful. Um, we can give that guard action to Tim. Who critted, which is extremely helpful. Like, when it gets irrational, it just starts talking shit. It's not about rationality and, and that sort of thing. It's just, it's nonsense, right? Uh, we will... If I force you to guard me, can this unit still guard this unit? That's a buff as well. I mean, if I guard you as well, are you both guarded? No, it moves. Okay, well, it's good to know on a turn when it's not too important. But uh, I, I wouldn't like to have relied on that. You dodged as well as getting your repost, which is really, really helpful. Um, this one's closest to death. So we'll try this turn and succeed, which is very nice. And then we'll try to kill this one outright. We have two units that can do it. Likely before this one does. Cupid, find me. That's... Okay. 
Uh, just gonna do more dodge. Giving everyone a better dodge buff is probably the most useful right now. But you crit it with your riposte, which is amazing. So now we can just attack the shit out of this one, which was kind of the plan, but I didn't necessarily mean it to go like that. In fact, it was slightly better than the plan because the plan was originally just to have us use your turn to kill the one that you killed anyway on its turn. So. See, it's, it's it's random stuff rather than irrational stuff. Like, an irrational thing to do would be to refuse a heal, for example, for the wrong reasons. Uh, or to refuse to take your action, or to hit the wrong thing, etc, etc. Rather than just sort of... I don't even know what you would term it when the unit is... Uh oh. Um... Like, just, just saying things that don't make sense. Oh. Okay. You're gonna... You're just gonna hurt yourself. Okay. I mean, I don't really care about that at this point, because we're gonna leave as soon as we enter that room. We could leave now if we wanted to. I'm not sure how much stress that does. Just kill it. <laughs> Done with this. Good, good. We found some things that we don't already have. We can go at the back this time. And driven into the mud. We have no torches left, but that's fine. Go in there. Well, we know there's no combat, but there might have been a curio. There wasn't. We're going. Driving that was a lucrative mission, which was the point. Unfortunately, we will have to spend some of this uh, treasure and cash. Of which we got 8,000. About 1,000 of that is going to have to go into de-stressing our units. Possibly into removing these. Nope, that's pretty good. That's okay, but we're not likely to get to that. That's very good. And you've got two things. Dachnomania, which is kind of okay. An evasive... Plus five dodge is probably going to help in future so that you don't quite get so much stress damage from not Can dodging feel it? The walls between the sane world and that unplumbed dimension of delirium are tenuously thin here. I do like it when the Ancestor speaks. So, this is the Caretaker, and he has goals for us. However, the person talking is the Ancestor, um, which I learned thanks to a very polite individual in the comments. So, the Caretaker is basically hanging out in places here because he's got nothing else to do with himself. Ellie, you're going to get pissed. I know you're too young, but... And Meg, you can drink with her. There we go. This round is on you. Uh, I think you'll find this round is on me. The one with all the frickin' money. But that's fine. Uh, let's see if we can upgrade. Oh, I should have done this first. I'll have to remember in future to change uh, Ellie's... Not stress. Level. Here we go. Let's change Ellie's uh, loadout because we don't want those. We don't necessarily want those things. Although we did want to change Tim. Did we want to change Tim? I know that we wanted to also change... Uh, what, did you level up? Where have you gone? Martinus. No, you're still level one. I wanted to maybe remove... Well, not remove, but uh, get something that can hit the back. That will mark something, which is nice to go along with a Bounty Hunter, I think. Uh, cure Blight Bleed on yourself. This is a buff of yourself, okay. That seems fair. Pick to the face is pretty sweet. It's just straight up damage. This moves us back, which is extremely valuable, but because it only does a st oh, it increases our dodge, which is nice. Because it only does a stun and a buff, <coughs> it doesn't quite make up for the fact that the lunge has moved us forwards too. Hmm. Wasn't really using this. Because I suppose we would actually necessarily... Well, we wouldn't necessarily take the same set into different fights, right? You would have flashing daggers for something where you're using a lot of bleed. Pick to the face where you don't have much DPS and you need Marty to do some more. I think the Grave Robber is a very versatile character, which is why it's one of my favourite classes. But I think what we'll do is we'll wrap this up here and figure out what to do in the next episode. In the next episode! Uh, but, until then, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.